In this lesson, we will learn to add questions to the quiz activity. Scroll down and click on the demo quiz to open it. This is the quiz page where quiz questions are listed. Presently there are no questions available in the quiz. Scroll down. Under quiz administration click on question bank. Now, we will add questions. Notice the category in which your questions would be added. Click create a new question link. And select a question type. Let's select essay type question. And click next. Enter question name as essay 1. In the question text box, enter, write a short note on life and technology. And change the default mark to 5. Then enter the general feedback as you will receive grade shortly after the question is checked by the teacher. Scroll down and change the response format to plain text to stop the students from using the HTML editor for writing the essay. Then change input box size to 30 lines. Click on Save Changes. An essay type question has been added. To add another question click Create a new question. This time select multiple choice question. And click next. Enter the question name as MCQ1. Enter the question text as which is the second day of the week. Then change the default mark to 5. Scroll down. You can also have more than one answer for a multiple choice question by changing this setting. If this box is checked, it makes the choices of the question shuffle within. You can also number the choices in different ways. Let's number the choices using numerals instead of alphabets. Scroll down. Now, let's enter choices for the question. In the choice 1 text box, enter the answer of Tuesday. As this is the right answer, select grade for the question to be 100%. Then enter the feedback for this choice as right answer. Well done. Similarly, enter the answer in choice 2 as Sunday. As this is incorrect answer, leave the grade to none. And enter the feedback of the choice as sorry, wrong answer. Similarly, enter choice 3 as shown. And choice 4. Scroll down to settings for multiple choice area. And change penalty for each incorrect try to zero. Scroll down and click Save Changes. Multiple choice type question is now added. Let's add one more question. Again click Create a new question button. Select Calculated type question. And click Next. Enter the question name as Kelsey 1. Enter the question text as shown. Where X and Y are wild cards. That is, these variables would take value from a set of values set aside for them. Change the default mark for the question to 5. Scroll down. Under answer area in the box, enter the correct answer formula as X plus Y and select grade to be 100%. And set tolerance level to 0. In the feedback box enter absolutely right. Then scroll to unit handling block. Unit handling options can be used when we are dealing with units such as meter, kg, liter, etc. As the question is generic, we don't need to set unit handling options. So leave them as default. In the settings for multiple tries block, change the penalty for each incorrect try to zero. For now, we don't want to penalize students for wrong answer. Now scroll to the bottom of the page and click Save Changes. Here we have to define the wild cards. For both wild cards, select the option. We'll use a new shared data set as there is no existing data set as yet. And then click on next page. This is a particular value for the wild card. This denotes the range of values this wild card can take. This gives number of decimal places in the values and the answer. Using this, we can change the distribution of values over the range. Leave these settings as default, or change it as per your requirement. Scroll down, and set the number of items you want to include in the data set. Select 20, and click Add button to add the values. Notice, a sample value is displayed from the data set. 
Click Save Changes. Now the calculated type question is added. Click on the magnifier icon to preview the question. Now, open your Moodle site in your computer and implement the exercise before proceeding to the next video.